Hello. So I wanted to talk about something I went through a while ago. Driving school. It's very fun. I may also talk about the test, but in general, driving stuff. This is relevant to me right now because my younger brother is going to be doing driver's ed and stuff soon, so I'm a little scared, but here we go. I don't know how it is in your state or country, but in North Carolina, I had to go to a school for like two or three weeks or something like that, learn stuff, take tests on it, and then go to a lady and drive for a few weeks and then take my test and then license stuff. I don't know how it is in other states or countries, but I'm going to go into the somewhat not really detailed process. So in North Carolina, I had to go to like a high school or something and be in a class with like a bunch of other people and we would learn the basics of driving and how not to drive drunk and all the stuff that you basically learn in driving class. In that class, we would take tests that had generic information and sometimes detailed information that you don't really know or care about when you're actually driving. And like all the stuff is pretty straightforward and makes sense, so you typically don't have trouble passing the class. One person in my class fell asleep and they got kicked out of the class. <laughs> so just a heads up, don't fall asleep in driving class or when you're driving. But we would basically go to the class, learn for a few hours, go home, and then once the class was actually over, then we would do the portion where you actually go with a person and another person possibly in the car and the teacher tells you how to drive and you drive places. How exciting. For that portion, the person would basically take you around easy, not so busy streets or they would take you places where there would be good lessons for driving. The first day was pretty basic. Me and the other student that were in the car would take turns driving and then the teacher would sit in the passenger seat and tell us what to do. The teacher would also occasionally tell us stories of people dying while driving and that was kind of intense but whatever. There was also the occasion where the teacher, and you can ask my friends this if you ever know who my friends are, because um, they had the same teacher, that the teacher would like give the scenario of like a Lamborghini or something being in front of the car to where we'd have to pass them, but it was imaginary so you had no idea what you were doing. They also gave the example of when doing the emergency brake or like pushing on the brake really hard to stop fast that there was a baby in front of the car and that we almost hit the baby, which I don't know if that's illegal and it stressed me out, but whatever. But during the times where we were with the teacher and the other student in the car, we would do things like go on the highway, parallel park, which I wanted to cry. I did it nicely though, but I'm never ever going to parallel park again. After that was done, we basically would have this form that we would have to fill in with certain amount of hours of driving in the morning and at night. I'm pretty sure other states and countries have different amounts of time that you have to drive. I think mine was 60 for morning and night. It's basically just something to assure that you know what you're doing when driving. But once that is over, you take like your permit test, which isn't very hard. That's just like paper and computer stuff. And then when you do that, you get your license and then you drive and then other people are stupid when you drive so you have to make sure you don't die. But overall, an interesting process. I don't even know how people are doing that right now because of COVID, so best of luck to all of you. I heard that some states aren't even doing it to where the students are driving in the car with a teacher, which I think is unsafe. <laughs> I think some people are just having to log their hours and then they turn it in and then they get their permit or driver's license, which is kind of scary. All states have their bad drivers, so don't be one of them. But in general, if you have any questions about driving school or any of that, let me know because I haven't gotten a ticket, knock on wood, um, so I'm pretty good at driving, I would say. But that's basically it. I wish you the best of luck if you're doing permit or driver's license stuff. Uh, don't crash. Uh, all state, you're in good hands.